Today we check out an absolutely insane card finish. It really is wild. We answer all your questions in question time and we find out who the winners are in this week's video. Roll that intro. G'day elites, welcome back to Murphy's Magic Watch New this week. It's me, your host, Peter Turner. How are you? I hope you're having an incredible week so far. Your weekend was absolutely delicious in every way possible. Your Monday, Tuesday, with the dreams that you've ever dreamed of coming true, they came true. Now you're here to learn about some new magic. Well, you're in the right place. So let's get rinky dink, fair dinkum, straight into it. Unless you want to watch grass grow with me. Enough of that nonsense. Now let's get into the first thing that we get into every episode, question time. This next question comes from YouTube where Grok Magician asked whether Mental Dusk would be back in stock. I get asked this question quite a lot every week and we are still waiting on the shipment to arrive from our manufacturer. It shouldn't be too long, so keep an eye on our socials and we'll announce it soon as they hit our floors. This last question comes in about my free tutorial, the bookless book test and whether it will work on Android. Absolutely, as long as you can screenshot on an Android phone, you'll definitely be able to do this. You're good to go. Now, if you have any questions that need to be answered about any products, any releases, anything at all, please leave them in the comments below. Use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst the competition entries. This part of the program is brought to you by Magician's Brand Magic Wax. It works on many things besides marking cards and levitations. <coughs> it also works on the mustache and as a hair gel. You look good. Now let's dive into what was released this previous week. Now on Friday, Name Cut by Juan Pablo and Holter was announced that your order is ready and served into your hot little hands, ready for sipping delights. Now Name Cup is a super visual effect, direct and powerful. With Name Cup, you can write with permanent marker any message on a coffee cup or soda and transform it into another message instantly. Not once or twice, but three times in a row. So you can transform names, cards, emojis, messages, symbols, or whatever you can write. Ideal as a visual effect for social media, it can be carried in your hand so it's perfect for close-up or parlor shows. It is super easy to do. You can perform it completely even with a freely chosen card. This includes a specially designed cup with an ultra-resistant plastic gimmick. And what's more is the explanation is also taught in English and Spanish. If you want to see more on Name Cup, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $49.95. You need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Or alternatively, the trailer is available just up here. Then on Monday, the Joker's Gambit by Hyde flipped its way unexpectedly right way up into your hot little hands. Now the Joker's Gambit is a new crazy trick with an absolutely explosive finale. All you need for the performance is six cards and one elementary secret move. Joker's Gambit is a Jazz Magic's representative. There are no rules, no sequences, only one movement, but lots of routines with crazy endings that literally blow audiences' minds. There's no preparation, no reloading. Everything you need is in a stylish black business size card envelope, which is super easy for you to take anywhere. If you want to see more on the Joker's Gambit, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $25. You need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Or again, the trailer is available just up here. That's right, Bo, it is now time for the news. If you missed it on Saturday, I told you a free effect where you can make any name disappear off a playing card. It is super visual, easy to do, and the gimmick is incredibly easy to make. If you wanna see more on the signature vintage, you can check it out just up here. And because we had a lot of people asking for a full performance of Dutch Kiss, on Sunday we had a full uncut performance so you can see exactly what the routine is and what your spectators will expect. It's oh, so good. Then rolling on to Tuesday, we jumped into an episode of Stumped where this color changing rubber band absolutely floored me. And I can confirm that this method is not what you expect either. If you want to check out that episode, it is available just up here too. Now onto everyone's favorite part of the episode, Meme of the Week. This meme comes in from Nudge Silver over there on our Discord. Let's check out this work of art. Thanks so much for sending that through Nudge. It really is a work of art. Now, do you have a meme that you want shared on what's new this week? It is very easy to share. All you need to do is head over to our magic meme section on our Discord, link in the description below right now to our Discord, upload it to that channel. I'll take a look and share it in a future week's episode. Now we're jumping over live to Thomas for this week's artist shout out where he's performing the random hero. Over to you, Thomas. I 
What a gorgeous performance, Thomas. Thank you so much for sharing that. If you want to learn the Random Hero, it is available for free on our Saturday Sorceries. But I love this performance. Thank you so much, Thomas. It is really, really good. And I'm going to be performing it like this from now on. I got to be honest. If you have a performance you want to be shared on what's new this week, all you need to do is tag us in your content. I'll take a look and share it in a future week's episode. It's that easy. It's now time to head over to our reviewer on the street, Jeremy Tan, where he's reviewing Nostalgia by Michelle Rott. Over to you, Jeremy. Once everything has been checked out, they choose one at random or they can choose a bunch and choose one that they like. Next, they insert it into the Viewmaster themselves and then take the Viewmaster to get the reel, put it behind their back and trigger away, okay? Until one random image is stopped at. Next, they look into the Viewmaster and they remember every single detail of the image that was randomly chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get like three dozen red roses sent over to Jeremy for his reviews? They are really, really... Oh, sorry. Did, did we lose Jeremy? I'm so sorry. If you want to see the full review by Nostalgia from Jeremy Tan, link in the description below right now. We can check it out in its entirety. It's now time to check out this week's deck of the week. And this week it is the Shin Lim playing cards by Bicycle. Bicycle and Shin Lim make some magic together in this beautiful co-designed deck. Bicycle Shin Lim is a playable deck of cards with a faded ten of hearts that will help enthusiasts perform a trick that Shin Lim will teach you how to do. Tuck features a red and silver foil with embossed accents. A custom card back design featuring a spade design and Shin Lim's logo. Whoever you are, this deck is perfect for you. If you want to see more on the Shin Lim playing cards, link in the description below right now for $18.75. It's now time for this week's random comment giveaway entries. If you're from Instagram, YouTube or Facebook, make sure you email me just here and I'll get your prizes straight out to you. If you want to go into the draw for next week's secret prizes, all you need to do is comment anything you want below, then I'll choose someone out at random from each platform to win some awesome secret prizes. Good luck. It's now time for the back in stock section. This first back in stock item is Quiver by Kelvin Chow. Quiver is a revolutionary new switching device that is disguised as a standard looking coin pouch, granting you the power to switch any small object with another automatically. The most unbelievable part of Quiver is the fact that the spectator can open and close it themselves and find nothing. Plus also, if you watched yesterday's episode of Stumped, you'll find out it works perfectly with CRB. If you want to learn more on the Quiver, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up from Quiver and Quiver Plus starting at $39.95. This next back in stock item is the Baffling Blocks by Alan Wong and Ashton Carter. No, 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 no not Kutcher, Carter. You got it. Three small metal blocks are passed to the audience. Within seconds, they are experiencing a strange and impossible feeling. Alan Wong and Ashton Carter have taken a mutual deep interest in this effect and turned it into a wonder-filled performances. In the box, you will see three die-cast metal baffling blocks plus a PDF ebook. If you want to see more on the baffling blocks, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $45 and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. This last back in stock item is the 50 pack of the Carrot DS1 deck sleeves. Now, are you tired of your EDC deck tuck case getting all dinged and torn up? Are you looking for an affordable way to protect and show off your decks? Well, make sure you check out the Carrot DS1 deck sleeves. It's an affordable and durable solution to keep all your favorite decks in tip top condition. If you want to see more on the DS1 deck sleeves, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for just $28. It's now time to check out some downloads that you don't want to miss. This first download is last week's vault, Dutch Kiss. Dutch Kiss is Denny's rendition of Wayne Hatchin's French Kiss. When Denny first encountered French Kiss, he instantly loved the effect and started performing it everywhere he went, which made him think if it would be possible to perform the effect with just one card. After countless hours of experimentation, Denny finally cracked the code. If you want to see more on Dutch Kiss, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for just $9.95. This next download is Box Out by Riziki Nanda. This is where a real deck passes straight through a real box. There are no flaps, elastics or magnets. Everything can be handed out for your spectator for examination. It is easy to make and full instructions and routines included. If you want to see more on Box Out, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for just $8.95. This last download is called Zoom. No, 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 not that Zoom, this Zoom. This is where you make a mini sized playing card, instantly change into a regular sized one. It is simple to build and easy to perform. If you want to see it more on Zoom, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for just $8.95. G'day champion, welcome back to Murphy's Magic's Game Show. It's me, your host, Grizzly Peterson. Let's jump in and see what the prices are for this week. Oh, 
all those prizes for just one of you. What an absolute treat. That's tasted in a sausage roll out by the billabong. Now let's see who won tonight's prize. What do we do? Oh, the old drover hat tip. That'll do it. There you go. Who's gonna win? Hey, is it gonna be you? Oh, close. What are you? Oh, no, sorry. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, oh, hey! Congratulations, champion. Make sure you email me just here and I'll get those prizes fair dinkum, rinky dink, straight out to you. Now, if you want to enter into next week's competition, make sure you comment Esky below and I'll enter you into next week's competition. Thanks so much for have entered this week. Good luck for everyone who's entered next week for some more awesome one off prizes. Thanks again. Take care, champion. See you then. Back to Bo. Now, here we are, the super secret part of the episode where you see some sneak peeks coming up in this week of magic. Now, while you're here viewing these super secret, super delicious parts of magic, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button because it lets me know you like the video and it helps me out loads. Cheers, champion. So let's kick off these sneak peeks with this week's vault. Bro Gilbert, come on in mate, show them what you've got. Oh, it's a good one. This week on The Vault, something red hot by Mr. Patrick Redford. This is his version of the bill change. It's called Facade, and it's worth checking out. Now on Friday, Scott Alexander and Bob Collar are back with the final answer reloaded. Let's check out a little clip of the trailer right now. wait to get my hands on this one. If you want to see more on The Final Answer Reloaded, keep an eye out from the trailer drops on Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Final Answer Reloaded is available for $395 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Then on Monday, Sultan Orizali is back with Sky Vanish. Let's see a little clip of the trailer right now. Is that not the most visual card vanish you've ever seen? If you want to see more on the Sky Vanish, keep an eye out for the trailer drops on Monday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sky Vanish is available for $35 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, unfortunately, my friend, we've reached the end of the episode, so I can only apologize profusely. Sorry, 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 but I really, really, really do appreciate you for hanging out and watching this episode with me. It means the absolute world. Now, I'll let you get back to your Wednesday champion. Thanks again, and I'll see you on Saturday for a weekly jam over there on Discord. Now take care, bye for now, see you later. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, so much good magic in there. You, you need to check this out. You're not gonna regret it. I, I, I pinky promise you. Oh, whoa, look at this. This shining diamond over here. What is this? Beautiful. You probably should click that if you haven't subscribed yet, but then you should definitely check out this because this, this is good. Treat yourself.